Hello people, this is JB from Grand Megas and you're watching Evil TV. Yeah, hi everyone, I'm here with JB from Grand Magus. And we're here in Vienna, and he's going to play a show tonight with Testament and Amon Amar, if you and tour with them. How is the tour going so far with those two bands? It's been really, really good. Um, we're uh, halfway now, so we've done a month, and there's a month left. And uh, it's been going great. Uh, the crowd, it's been uh, amazing for us as well. And... Um, Everyone's getting along, so uh, it's been yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm. And you're on tour already a month, so do you do you already have some problems with your health or something, or are you still fit? Uh, I've been lucky so far on this tour, uh, so I haven't really um, had any big issues uh, other than uh, growing older every day <laughs> and <laughs> stuff like that. But no, it's been good so far. Yeah. Touch wood. Um, so. Uh, Probably tomorrow I'll get a cold or something, but yeah. so far it's been good. Did it ever happen in tour that you get sick or lost your voice or something? Mm, yeah, kind of. Um, it's happened in the past. I mean, if you get sick and you're a singer, uh, there's not much you can do um, other than, you know, trying to rest as much as you can. But uh, it's very irritating if, if mm -hmm. that happens because... Um, Obviously, the performance is gonna suffer from it, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, but luckily, uh, so far it's been good. And being a musician, I guess you like to play live shows and stuff like that, of course. But do you also like the other stuff about being a musician, like doing stuff like what we're doing here, like doing interviews or doing social media stuff? Uh, well, social media stuff is like uh, I let someone else do that because. Um, very interested in uh, in that yeah uh, interviews and things um, can be cool I mean it's cool to do stuff like this I think when it's like a proper conversation but if it gets too much you know it's that's not the reason I started playing heavy yeah, metal sure. you know yeah. but this is this is fine okay don't worry <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you got a new album this year uh, Sword Songs mm -hmm. And how is it received on this tour here in Europe? Um, we're playing only one song from the new album um, since we have, you know, we we only play for 35 minutes, so it doesn't really make sense to not play a lot of new stuff. Um, which we're saving that for our own headline thing. Um, yeah. But that song seems to go down really well. Yeah. Yeah. What song is it? It's a track called Varangian. Okay. It's the first track that we put out, like the sing mm -hmm. single. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you got a song on this album, uh, Forged in Iron, Ground in Steel. Mm -hmm. I think you said uh, this is kind of center of the album. Mm -hmm. Why you don't play this song? It's quite long. So, um, and um, yeah, we just decided pretty early on that we're going to stick with the uh, Varangian and then. We're gonna save Cram and Steel for for our own show, you know. Okay. Mm. And was it when you started back then? Was it always the plan that you will sing about mythology and and Viking sagas? Um, well, we had that already on our first album. Um, we had a track called Lodbrok, which uh, is about uh, Ragnar Lodbrok. Um, this was before the TV series because Ragnar Lodbrok is like a um, you know, Viking hero uh, that's been written about, you know, for a long, long time ago. Um, and I think, um, yeah, pretty, I mean, almost directly that was the, because I grew up with these stories, you know, my dad used to tell it to me when I was, uh, when he put me to bed, you know, yeah. about Thor and Odin and things like this. So, and it's just something that I find it's very easy to express my ideas and my fantasies and whatever through in that framework, you know. Mm. 
So yeah, and uh, we it's only in the afternoon now. So what are you doing on a tour day then, till the concert starts? Well, first of all, you try to wake up. That usually takes like two hours. <laughs> Um, and uh, it's always a bit confusing because every day, even though every day is pretty much the same, every venue is different and every setup is different. So you try to find a toilet, first of all, you know. <laughs> uh, important, of course. <laughs> it's fucking super important because uh, on the bus, the only thing you can do is do number one, you know, and when you wake up, you usually want to do number two and uh, <laughs> you never know where or if there's a toilet available. You know? well, it's a real problem. <laughs> it's a real problem. It can be a real problem. But yeah. in the best scenario, you wake up, you get off the bus, you see a sign, dressing rooms, you go there and do your business and then do whatever you need to do, you know, to try and wake up and have something to eat. Um, today I actually uh, went and did some exercising. Uh, yeah. So you're not hungover? Not anymore. I was <laughs> when I woke up. <laughs> yeah, and um, you got a tour coming up in the UK where you're the headliner. Mm. And do you prefer being the headliner? or I mean, you play here, I think, at seven already. Yeah. What do you prefer? Well, um, I mean, of course, it's really cool uh, to be the headline band. On the other hand, tonight we will play in front of, you know, over, I don't know how, how big this venue is, but... Pretty big. Yeah. And so for that, uh, I mean, for us, that's a great thing. And on this tour, it's not been like, you know, empty when we start. It's been mm. full when we yeah. start. Uh, so, I mean, that's awesome, you know. Of course. So, um, I like both. Yeah. And uh, especially on a package like this, where there are two bands that I really respect and really get along with, you know, and everyone treats everyone really cool. Um, that's yeah. great. Yeah, of course. Being a support band can be tough if the, the main band it's not so great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like we are, but we are the headline band. Oh, really? <laughs> no, are you? <laughs> no, no. It's a warning for your support um, bands. Yes. But yeah, well, um, have a nice show then and thanks for the interview. Thank you.